YouTube. In this video, I'm going to address Adam Nowitzki, Nowitzki's question here. Before I do that, uh, I like to mention that I changed my uh, uh, YouTube name. So, so if you want to go to my channel, you type youtube.com slash steel drafter boom and then it will lead you straight to my channel so that's why my name has changed from john down my channel and all that jazz i just uh thought i should mention that but uh adam nowitzki says here thanks john good videos as always thank you very much what if i wanted to manufacture a project in a few phases and wanted to issue let's say first flow out of five can i somehow make the software free certain parts and not consider and not consider them for numbers again uh, and drawing another problem i can't seem to overcome is grout okay <clears throat> this might be a long one or i might make it in two parts so here we go here we go Okay, as usual, I've made our structure here. This let's pretend this is the project. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, you wanna separate phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. Now, first I'm gonna separate, so I'm gonna call these ones phase one or two, and these ones phase one or phase one or two. So uh let me just uh no, no, let me select these ones first. Advanced properties. Uh, come on, come on. Okay. Naming. Okay. I already gave these ones. So, this is what you're going to do. You're going to check the lot phase and give it phase 2. Okay. And then, I'm pretty sure I should have done this on screen, but it's just easy. Just type in one or two. So, select everything plates and beams and then we're going to go to naming and that's phase one check that and click phase one so these ones are phase one these ones are phase two okay now this is I've, I've showed you previously maybe not uh, okay let me just do it without explaining it so you want to go to project explorer this is very important. This this little this little uh, uh, two set here is very very handy. And uh, if you find yourself not using this two set, then you are taking a lot of you're not taking any shortcuts. You're doing it the wrong way. You're doing it the hard way. Okay, this is the easy way to do it. So you wanna use uh, create query. And by the way, at every stage, you want to uh, categorize all your uh, components. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you how I mean. You want to hit the uh, naming and then lot phase. And then here we'll select phase one. So, object. And then uh, you go to object, steel beam, uh, steel beams. Actually, just select all. Okay, and then we'll save that and we'll call that phase one. So basically I have isolated everything in, in phase one. So I've searched the entire project using the criteria of it should look for phase one. Anything in the model that has phase one should be uh, selected. And uh, in this section you just require you, you, you just need to check what kind of objects are in phase one or how you want to isolate maybe just the plates maybe just the grading whatever it is but this is basically to navigate and isolate certain parts and there's many different other uh, uh, options that you can use to separate things so did i say that already yeah i guess i did okay so now this pops up and you see this 
you get a white bar coming. So whenever I click that, everything in phase one is going to show up. Okay. So this is how you isolate. First of all, isolate everything in the project. So you can have multiple, uh, uh, multiple options here that you have uh, categorized different parts of the project. I hope this is making sense as I'm going. So what you just want to do is highlight phase one and uh, you know uh, select phase one that's the just select all everything that's highlighted and then you want to go to output numbering and then you number it as, as it were so now you have c1 b1 okay so close that for now and uh, we will bring everything back and just examine what we've done here. So these ones are phase two. If you go into the naming, you see they haven't been numbered yet. But everything phase one is already numbered. You want to, as you can see there. So the most important is to isolate, and this this little project. Uh, uh, the project, uh, what can I call it? The project explorer is very important to, you know, separate things from from uh, other things. Or if you just want to select all the plates in the model, you go in the query and you know pick out the options that you corner what you want to isolate. Okay. So now I hope that answers the question, and then you can, and then. Uh, uh, I won't make the drawing just now, but I think uh, on your let's say, you know what? We're gonna make the drawing. I did say this video might be a little bit long, so we're gonna create a drawing of one of these parts just so I can show you assembly beam use. Okay, select boom. Uh, where are my drawing styles? Okay, uh, D Imperial. I'll just call that one. Yeah, okay, this might be just slightly longer. Seven minutes? No, uh, it's too good for time. My max is 10 minutes. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, so now we're going to open the drawing we just created. And what I wanted to show you is that it shows here the phase that you're doing. So here you can you can manipulate the, the this table to uh, to write phase one instead of just the one in there. But this is actually phase one. In my other drawing styles where I use uh, like the one at my work, I have customize it so that here it pops out says phase one instead of just one. And you can do that. If you want a tutorial on that, hit me up. Okay, so basically all everything in phase one will have that in the table. And you can actually make it bigger too so it's visible here it says phase one. And uh, everything in phase two. Okay, so now you can go and go ahead and number phase two if you want it. You can just number everything. But still these ones will be phase two. But one thing I'd like to point out, this is C2, and this one is C3, but they are exactly the same beam. Okay, they are exactly the same, the same beam. So if I go advanced properties of like them both, you can see that it's exactly the same beam, except the number. And that is separated because you have phase one and phase two. So what you number in phase one will have a different number in phase two, regardless if it's the same B. Okay, so uh, I've answered that question. I hope that was clear enough. Uh, when it comes to grout, I, I may have made the video on this, but uh, this is what I use. So this is your base plate, double click, 
your base plate and then you go down to plates or stiffeners and what you want to use is this lapping plate this is by far this works the best for me anyway okay and we just give it an extension i know it's supposed to be one inch but you know <clears throat> we'll work with that and basically all you have to do is again you can use the project explorer to isolate all of these leveling plates or you can do them individually and just go down here and on the behavior just uncheck this uncheck these okay and then when you do drawings they won't pop up in uh, the drawing list the bill of materials basically they're just there for sure so and then you can also use the uh, user attributes to insert the words graph so when you call it up just go to user attributes and uh, select graph that's it for now that's the long one youtube